Hey everyone, today we're going to teach you how to calibrate a commercial coffee grinder. Um, this will apply to a ton of different models and brands and everything like that, um, but we specifically have the Malconig Kenya. Um, this grinder is probably about five or six years old and we just put some new burrs in it. Um, they're actually Guatemala burrs, which are a little bit nicer, last a little bit longer. Um, and so we need to recalibrate this grinder to get the grind setting where it used to be. Um, so you'll need a couple things to do that. Uh, first thing you'll need is a screwdriver. It helps if it has a bunch of different tips, so you can uh, basically use that for all the different parts of the grinder. Um, you'll also need a scale, uh, ideally a gram scale that's pretty accurate for weighing out our coffee. You'll need a refractometer. We really like the VST refractometer. Uh, just really fast and accurate, kind of industry standard. Um, you'll need a coffee filter, of course, to weigh your coffee out for brewing. Um, you'll need some coffee. Uh, so we're going to use our Costa Rica. It's just a really easy, um, easy to dial in coffee that we're really used to the taste of and have had for a while. Um, so we really like that. And then we're going to use this vessel that has three liter uh, markings on it. And we can also use a scale to weigh our brew weight. So that'll help a lot too. Um, yeah, that's what you need to get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is weigh out our coffee. We are using a 16 to 1 ratio. So I'm going to weigh out 180 grams, which is our standard dose. All right, and then I have the grinder set to my ideal grind setting, which is gonna be right around four and a half. And so after I grind my coffee on four and a half, I'm going to brew it. We're gonna see how the extraction is. We're gonna use the refractometer to test it. And if it's off, we'll make some adjustments and we'll brew another batch to be able to uh, find out what changes we need to make and make four and a half the ideal setting that we want. Now that we've ground our coffee, we're going to take it out to the brewer, brew it, and then I'm going to test what we get on the refractometer and we'll talk about it. All right, so while the coffee's brewing, I just want to talk a little bit about why we calibrate a grinder in general. So most people think that 18 to 22% extraction of the coffee grounds is what tastes the best. Um, and that's through tons of research that we don't have to talk about right now. But basically, when you taste coffee that tastes good, it's probably extracted somewhere between 18 to 22%. And what that means is we weighed out 180 grams of coffee. So our goal should be about 36 grams of the stuff in that coffee that's dissolvable should be dissolved in the water. Um, now that's kind of hard to measure. You'd have to dry out the grounds and weigh them and all that kind of stuff. So to give ourselves a shortcut, we use the refractometer. So what the refractometer does is it actually checks the brewed coffee for the percentage of extraction inside of that brewed coffee. Um, and you can use that number to calculate how much of your coffee you extracted. Um, so it's basically gonna tell us out of all the stuff in this water that we just brewed through coffee, how much of it is coffee and not water. So that's why this tool is really, really useful. All right, now that the coffee's brewed, we're going to test our first batch on the refractometer. So first thing we're gonna do is use a spoon, which I didn't tell you guys you need, but you do, and stir the coffee to make sure everything is consistent in there because coffee extracts kind of in layers. You get these, uh, this gradient basically of uh, heavier extraction and lighter extraction while it's brewing. So now that we've done that, Going to get a little sample, put it in the refractometer. All right, so we've let this sit for a little bit and we're going to run this a couple of times because you want to have at least two to three of the same reading in a row to make sure that your temperature is stable as you're uh, using the refractometer. So it's looking like 1.16% is going to be our TDS. Oh, oh 1.17. We'll run it a couple more times. All right, 1.16 it is. So we're using the Coffee Tools app by VST. Um, if you have a refractometer, this is absolutely the best app out there for doing this. So we're just going to enter our brewing parameters so that we get accurate data. So our dose is 180 grams. Our brew weight is 2.880 liters, and we just got a TDS of 1.16. So that gives us an extraction percentage of 17.25%, which is a little bit low. Um, so we're going to go ahead and fine up our grind a little bit, and then we're going to do another batch and test it. 
So now that we've fined up our grind a little bit, we're going to do another batch and check our numbers again. Um, as we're doing this, we're using what's called the brewing control chart, which we're going to put a link to down below. Um, and it's something that the SCA released that has been around for a long, long time. It basically shows you um, with your TDS uh, and your extraction percentage where you are on how tasty your coffee is, basically. If it's too weak or too strong, um, or if it's going to be sour or bitter, that chart is going to show you everything you need to know about dialing in coffee without tasting it, and then you can taste it to fine tune it. Um, so that's what we're going to use. We'll run some numbers on this, and we'll be right back with another batch of coffee. All right, so we just got done with our second batch of coffee, and our extraction's almost perfect. So our TDS was 1.3%, which as you can see is giving us 19.36% extraction, um, which is great. So we're going to taste it. We're going to find out how good it is. Um, if you look in the corner too, if you have this app, this is the brewing control chart up here, and that's going to show you exactly where you are on that chart that we talked about. So now that we have a really good batch of coffee, we're actually going to move our grind setting to where we want it to be. Um, so as I said at the beginning, we want it to be at four and a half. So now we've moved it down to a little lower than three and a half. So we're just going to adjust that back to where we started. And to do that, you're going to need a flathead screwdriver. And on this particular grinder, it's super easy. You just loosen this middle screw here and take the entire grind adjustment off like so and these notches integrate with this pin here and so we're just going to put it right where we want it which is at four and a half and we're going to retighten and every grinder is a little bit different but if you just check out the uh, tech manual for the grinder you have you can find out how to do this on yours but what we're doing here, we're really just moving the grind setting back to where we started and making sure that that is going to brew the coffee we want. All right, and that's it. Our grinder is now calibrated. Um, if you don't have a refractometer, you don't need one to do this. It just makes it a lot more accurate and a lot faster. Um, but you can do the same process we just did. Just don't do the part where we are testing the coffee and instead taste the coffee. Um, and basically what you're looking for is balance. You know, So if you have coffee that's really dry, and uh, bitter, then you want to go uh, coarser on the grind setting. If you have coffee that is really sour um, and kind of thin, then you want to go finer on the grind setting. And you want to keep doing that, leaving everything else the same until your coffee tastes exactly how you want it to. We really hoped you enjoyed this video and you learned some stuff. Um, if you did, drop a like down below and subscribe to our page. That just helps us a ton. We really want to keep releasing more content like this. Um, also, feel free to comment below if you have any questions about anything we talked about. Um, or if you just want to tell us what kind of videos you want to see. So thanks again.